Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another episode of SD Locks SCP Readings. This is Shaggy Dreadlocks, and may the 4th be with you. In light of the holiday, today we are reading SCP-1514, Star Wars. Item number, SCP-1514. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures SCP-1514-1A is contained at a secure bunker Redacted. SCP-1514-1B's status is to be monitored at all times, and any fluctuation of its homeostatic state beyond standard deviations is to be reported immediately. SCP-1514-1A's components are not to be tampered with, and any action beyond routine inspection of the device is to be met with immediate termination. Exactly one level 2 or higher personnel with an appropriate engineering background is to inspect these components once every 20 minutes to ensure their continued function. Should said personnel breach protocol, the Batricotoxin Collar equipped to them must be remotely activated. No personnel are permitted to enter SCP-1514-1A's containment chamber outside of a scheduled or emergency inspections. While SCP-1514-2 largely isolate themselves from public awareness, Foundation agents within all major astronomical associations are to detect and disguise any instance of their discovery. Should the signal being transmitted by SCP-1514-1A cease, whether by the destruction of SCP-1514-1A itself or otherwise, Procedure 83 Onager must be implemented. Failure to do so is likely to result in an XK-class end-of-world scenario. Description SCP-1514 is a nuclear deterrent system developed by Redacted in association with the United States government in 1983. Its development and deployment was disguised by the publicly announced Strategic Defense Initiative SDI, despairingly known as Star Wars, which was put forth by then President Ronald Reagan during the same year. Officially, SCP-1514 is known as SDI Protected. System Z, and numerous components of it were developed by legitimate SDI research and development groups, namely Project Excalibur Redacted. Known records indicate that the system was functional from 1980 Redacted. to 1980 Redacted. at which point the artifact's malfunctions and subsequent investigation by the Unusual Incidents Unit UIU, Federal Bureau of Investigation brought SCP-1514 to the Foundation's attention. SCP-1514-1A is a 1.5 meter by 0.9 meter by 0.6 meter device comprised mainly of steel. Various instruments along its exterior display the homeostatic state of an entity, SCP-1514-1B, currently residing inside the device. SCP-1514-1A is powered by an unknown internal source and contains what is believed to be a sophisticated life support system, utilizing an unidentified dark red liquid. Due to the inherent risks of tampering with the device, details regarding SCP-1514-1B and the life support system are unclear or speculative. The remaining instruments belong to an interface system designed to input and receive data from SCP-1514-1B. Information on SCP-1514-2 is limited and has thus far only been provided by documentation received from the UIU. However, 
it is confirmed that SCP-1514-2 are a series of redacted satellites currently in orbit around Earth. Superficially, they resemble the redacted satellite with what is believed to be an array of 12 tactical X-ray laser or Zaser devices attached to the anterior side. The solar panels visible on SCP-1514-2 instances are reported to be fake, as the satellite's propulsion and weapons systems are powered by an alternative, anomalous source. Design specifications indicate the Zaser system was originally to be utilized for disabling intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, though targeting algorithms do exist for ground-based targets. SCP-1514-1A generates an anomalous radio transmission once every hour. Broadcasting to the nearest SCP-1514-2 instance, this transmission cannot be deterred or disrupted through any known method, including Faraday cage structures. According to documentation provided by Redacted. Failure to receive this signal for a period lasting longer than 36 hours constitutes the immediate and autonomous implementation of the Coronet contingency, causing all SCP-1514-2 instances to fire upon their preset land-based targets. Due to the scope of the Coronet contingency, which was engineered by Redacted, and is far more extensive than was intended by the US government, this event has been deemed a probable XK-class end-of-world scenario. Information from Redacted has indicated that several components of SCP-1514 were developed by Redacted through CA Project M Redacted between 1960 Redacted and 1960 Redacted, though it is unknown what the original purpose of these components were. See document SCP-1514-RM27 for details. Access document SCP-1514-RM27 Recovered Project Redacted Documentation Journal of Dr. Redacted First Entry The Russians are very proud of their telepathy research division. But they lack vision. They fail to respect the power of human emotion, but they'll see that power soon enough, just as soon as our work on empathetic resonance is complete. Thanks to the materials provided by Redacted, we should have this project completed ahead of schedule. Mind over matter, heart over mind. Entry 2 The first two subject batches exposed to the serum were utter failures. The first all died from cerebral hemorrhaging. The second group went into encephalopoietic delirium. Our consensus is that the adult human nervous system is too inflexible, too resistant to change. That being said, further experiments on the current subject pool are likely to be fruitless. Still developing systems, preferably those still in gestation, are likely to be ideal. We shall requisition more appropriate subjects from Redacted. Entry 3 Two of our five subjects miscarried. After confirming that their carriers had no reaction from the serum, we had them terminated. We've lowered the dose volume on remaining subjects, hopefully to mitigate the potential damage. Entry 4 Redacted Order us to retrieve one subject for closer inspection. Caesarean section of subject 4 was successful, however, in the aftermath of the procedure, the carrier regained consciousness. Data expunged. I, I, I don't understand. Why, why did the carrier demonstrate a reaction to the serum, but not the fetus? Redacted. Seems excited by the news. I... I can hardly say I am as well. We lost five personnel from the incident. We've had the carrier placed in a chemical coma, hopefully to prevent any data expunged. Entry 5 
Clark went nuts today. He tried to break into Subject 4's room, claiming that he wanted, quote, what was his. I had no idea what to make of it at first, but then I saw the logs and noticed he'd been watching Carrier 4 for the last two days. Empathic resonance is more volatile than we estimated. A telepathic event from an unconscious individual? We, we barred all access to the carrier's room and reinforced the walls with Redacted. Provided by Redacted. But we have no countermeasures if another emergency projection event like during the C-section occurs. Entry 6 <sighs> We're fucked. Redacted. Is going to shut down the entire project. We've been ordered to continue our work while they handle the situation, but we haven't gotten anything, anything out of Subject 4. The other subjects and carriers all have been terminated. They'd show no response and were little more than a financial black hole. My staff are losing their minds. And I'm tired of cleaning up after them. Entry 7 Well, the situation's been resolved. Though it's blown up in the general media, unsurprisingly. We can't be bothered to think about that now, though, because Subject 4 has begun to emit radiation consistent with telepathic properties. As far as we can tell, however, the subject does not demonstrate sentience. This is the first sign that Subject 4 has responded to the serum at all. We're not sure what to make of this yet. Nothing seems to make sense with this experiment. I'm going to biopsy Subject 4's neural tissue and run an analysis. Entry 8 Data expunged. Entry 9 All of our materials have been moved to Lab B, and the remains of Carrier 4 have been locked in a casket. Though, given that it could still detect what was happening to Subject 4 when its entire room was lined with it, eh, I doubt it makes much difference. We obtained a neural cell sample of the carrier shortly after its termination. Rejected. Wants to research methods of replicating the sample. For what? I have no idea. Subject 4 is stable. No attempts at a biopsy are planned or even permitted. <laughs> Not after the last attempt resulted in... Data expunged. ...and half of our staff. Entry 10. They were playing us right from the right from the beginning. Colin. Colin was the one that suggested we even use fetuses to begin with, and he was one of their agents the whole time. They knew exactly how unstable empathic resonance was and how dangerous this project would be, so they let us do the dangerous work. The bond between a mother and child, of course it would provoke the strongest reaction, a telepathic link that can't be deterred by any means. A mother trying to protect her son, the readings we got from the last event are unlike anything we could have predicted. Redacted. Has taken Subject 4 and the cell sample of its carrier. They're going to continue with the cell replication on their own. I understand now. The subject was never the weapon. It was only the trigger. The carrier was the weapon. They think they know everything. But they didn't see what happened during the last incident, and I have no plans on telling them. They think that just because Subject 4's growth is arrested that it won't develop sentience. But even they underestimate this power. It won't merely relay orders forever. It will begin choosing what to relay, or ignoring them altogether. Maybe giving orders of its own. End. Log. SCP-1514-1A's 1 interface is currently unresponsive to input, rendering all manual offensive and defensive capabilities of SCP-1514-2 defunct. This malfunction also prevents deactivation of the Coronet contingency. This danger was the impetus for Redacted. contacting the Foundation and the subsequent Foundation custody of the artifact. While SCP-1514-1A is unresponsive to input, it has been observed to generate text messages via the control panel monitor. Document 
SCP-15140 Clearance 4 slash 1514 required Identity verified Can you hear? I'm happy Are the stars pretty? And that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, do all those cool YouTube things. Uh, oh yeah, the bell. Do the bell thing too. That's always a good thing to do. Check down in the description where I have links to this author's work as well as related reading materials if applicable. Until next time.